very comfortable, very loved, very, um, I feel very excited every time I have an opportunity to come here. Uh, I love the way people think, I love the cinema that comes out of here, people are so artistic and I think one of the most unique things about uh, Kolkata and Bengali culture specifically is something I love and I relate to a lot which is that it's so, so rooted in tradition. Uh, we're, you know, there's a pride in history, in its culture, in the language, in poetry, in art, in its cinema. But at the same time, there's such an expansiveness in the thought. And uh, I find that so, so beautiful about, um, about uh, everything Bangla. And I have to say the food, <laughs> which I grew up with. Uh, and even now, I have a Bangla cook in my house. Uh, I love it. And um, thank you for having me here. Uh, this film festival is in many ways, uh, you know, something that everybody looks forward to. And I know that uh, Bangla cinema has always been something that has been spoken about in the world. Um, I myself grew up watching uh, certain filmmakers, certain films, and had these dreams of, you know, wanting to be a part of these films. In fact, when Arindamda came to me with that film, I was, I so wanted to do that film. And I even today say that I would love to do, uh, you know, I've worked in various languages, but I haven't done a Bangla film, and I hope that I can. Uh, so thank you for having me here today. This is a big honor for me. Um, and thank you so much. Question for me. Um, I have grown up like that because I also come from a very mixed, uh, uh, sort of mixed family, very mixed uh, heritage, lineage, whatever you She's call almost it. absolutely ideal Indian because <laughs> she has everything that India has. Really? <laughs> and even what I don't have possibly in my blood, I've had it in the influences around right. me. So I, I do feel like a child of India and I feel comfortable actually in every city I go to but there, of course there are certain favourites that I have um, but yes, uh, you know to me I always feel that we are so lucky uh, and as an actor I feel so lucky to be a part of Indian cinema because India is so diverse, there are so many stories to be told um, and there are so many uh, languages that those stories can be told in and as a child also, because I've watched cinema from all over, I always felt, you know, in a very naive and simple way that stories, you know, like you go to your grandmother and you say, tell me a story. That story can be about anybody, anything. It can be, uh, uh, it can be set in any part of the world, but it's about what that story makes you feel. And so when I work in different languages, it's really about the directors and the directors who make those stories and the stories that I'm part of and the characters that I play because all I want is to sit in somebody's heart and I can, the language doesn't matter there, it's about what uh, as a character I make you feel, it's about what those stories make you feel. So I always say that cinema is about feelings and feelings don't have any boundaries of language or region or gender or nothing, it's about the heart and it's about love. So it's a kind of sacred energy almost. Yeah. Thank you. The next question. I, I don't look at it as validation. But it's truly an honor to be a part of incredible film festivals because you're surrounded by people that you look up to, you're surrounded by artists, you're surrounded by people with a vision, you're surrounded by risk takers, by brave filmmakers, and by people who love cinema. And you, you, like, I, I'm always aware that I am what I am because of the directors who have nurtured me and challenged me and you know, given me a platform. And the people who love cinema, you know, who make sure that I love going to work every day, and it is for that love that you know, we, we, at least I, 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 that love for me is very infectious. So yes, a film festival is very important, and it's very wonderful to see different kinds of cinema and different mm. kinds of influences because they obviously impact you and your decisions. Your second question, mm. um, I'm going to answer it a little differently. Um, I'm not going to get into misogyny or the lack of it or, you know, the, the, the uh, but uh, what I am going to say is that as an actor, uh, for me, it is very important to not judge the characters that I play. But at the same time, I must also be responsible because those films are watched by a lot of people and what we put out there, we do need to have responsibility towards. Having said that, I will also stand by what I said that it's a very fine line 
to not judge the characters that you're playing because many of the characters don't always think like you, they think differently. That does not mean that they should be shunned. And everybody deserves to make the film that they want to make. It is our choice whether we watch it or we do not. Kirita Kirjaya is a very iconic character. But when I was doing that character, I had the same thing in my mind that when he was in Anarkali in the 13th century, जबी भी वो थी वो अपने आप को आइकॉनिक नहीं मानती थी लोगों ने उसे आइकॉनिक बनाया तो I played her like a like just a girl in love and a girl who was dealing with her circumstances but she was a very brave girl and so too with Sumitra Kumari वो एक actually बहुत vulnerable girl है वो एक actor है और actors का ये होता है कि वो एक almost you know you imagine कि they are sort of in a in this almost like a golden cage, especially at that time, you know, it was very different. And um, but at the same time, they are so brave, you know, that they live the lives that they live, etc., etc. To be able to play girls like that, to be able to play women like that, is a huge blessing. And to be picked by directors who think that you can do that is, to me, is what makes me go to work at six in the morning and sometimes work very long hours and look forward to going to work and the love that you get at the end of it makes everything worth it. I don't know if I answered your question but... I, I can't imagine my life without music, dance, camera, cinema. So very fast I got back on track. But uh, yes, I did want to be. Even sometimes, even today I think, oh, I could have been a pediatrician, I could have been a vet. But in my life, I'll keep giving people this nuska, this, 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 with Leela Samson, Bharatanatyam and I learned a color too. So I have to do one film where I can do my color. But you've also done a film on titles. I have, I have. That film actually didn't really release but it went to festivals, yes. I wasn't an actor then but yes, I did that, yes. It was about dance, only, solely about dance. Look at what the art team was doing, I would look at what the DOP was doing, I would see how they're lighting, I would follow Mani sir around, I would help the costume, I would help the stylist and I enjoyed it so much and it's it's such a beautiful mix of all of the arts and I just want to also clarify, I've never learned music but I've got my mother's genes, I learned dance. So cinema is just, it's magical and I told you I'm a five-year-old, so I love magic, and I want to be a part of magic all my life. So that's cinema. Amazing. Uh, he is just incredible. Also, there were times that, kabi kabi, just say set pe easy bandho jaba. To me, I used to tell the lady, easy chala, stand on, stand on. And then I would say Bumbala sitting quietly. Why? Matlab, he's not saying anything to anybody. He's so sweet. He's, matlab, he's just too kind. And I would go and tell him. I was also a badmash. Hey, Bhumbada, if you tell them to put on lazy, they'll listen to you. Please tell them. But Bhumbada was even softer than me. So I was like, Dada, say something now, please. He is just so amazing. And also just watching him was so incredible because he, like, you know, he's so incredible that he has that curiosity. After doing so many movies, he gave us the number of films that he's done, some 400 and something. Na? I was just like, how are you so excited to be on set, to create a character? You know, you're, I mean, he, he was like, he's almost like, this is the first time he's doing this. That kind of excitement level. And it's very, very um, inspirational, you know, to work with somebody like that who shows you that after so much experience, to be humble, to love your work that much, that, you know, you're the first person on set, you're the last person to leave the set. He was the front bencher of our full gang. He was the front bencher. <laughs> He's really incredible. I just love him. Mother, mother is actually out of town. He's away on shoot. And he asked me to tell you this, that he sent you his love and affection for you. And he said, thank you for coming uh, to this festival. 